Hi, this is Miriam Castilla and welcome to the Manifesting Playground for Soulful Women in Business, where we practice the art and science of effectology, marrying the magical with the practical so you can have more money and more time the easy way without all the hustle. Let's talk about how to manage time. We all have 24 hours in the day, seven days in our week, right? And we want to make the most out of that. So time is the resource we have to produce the outcomes that we're looking for every day. But the thing to recognize about time is that time is actually entirely experiential. You know how sometimes you are sitting in maybe a really boring show maybe it's your kids Christmas show <laughs> maybe it's some concert and you just wish that it was over and it drags on and on and on or maybe you've even experienced this when you're meditating and you think okay I'll sit down and meditate for 10 minutes and you set a timer and you're sitting there meditating or thinking about meditating and suddenly think surely my time is broken surely i didn't set it i've been here for hours what is going on but when you check the timer no you've actually only been there for about five or six minutes or maybe at other times you've been so in the moment you've had such a good time that time flies like that and you think how can it be time to leave already we've only just started so time is entirely experiential we can actually bend time we can expand time and we can contract time with our awareness and our focus. So, you know, you can slow time down and really that's what you want to do when you need to get the most out of your time. But the thing is, you cannot manage the time, you cannot grab the time and stretch it, but what you can do is you can change you and your experience of that time. So how do you manage time? You don't, you manage you. And the way to do that is to actually learn to manage your focus, to manage your awareness, so that you get to that moment where you're so entranced in the activity you're in that time seems to stand still. And the number one way to be able to do that, to be able to start training your focus so that you're not distracted like a rabbit in the headlights and you're jumping from one thing to the next, you know, shiny bright object syndrome, the way, number one way to do that is to start meditating because that's what meditation is. It is a practice, a practice in focusing your mind on one single activity. And that might be noticing your breath, um, focusing on a mantra or trying to go into silence or just focusing on a guided meditation that you're listening to. So if you'd like to practice that a little bit more and you haven't yet got access to my meditation library, make sure that you grab that. The link is in the description. There are 52 meditations on all sorts of amazing topics. They are actually hypnotic meditations, which means that they tap directly into your unconscious mind and help you create some real shifts at the unconscious level. So you won't just be training your focus, sitting and having some time out. You'll actually be doing some real important work, starting to make some shifts that will help you gain more clarity, more focus, start to heal some old patterns and start to attract more abundance all with your eyes shut so grab that from the link in the description if you're not yet a member and until next time keep on embracing your beautiful and absolutely unlimited potential bye for now <music>